mixing board out. Turning on the mixing board. One second, powering up. Check, 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 check. Yes, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew and welcome to Sunday. And we're not doing miming anymore. No. Um, <laughs> And we thought we would uh, do a bonus show because we we're going away soon. And uh, so it fitted in before the last show, mm -hmm. uh, before we go away, which is Wednesday. And uh, there's been an update to Galaga. So I thought we'd play some more Galaga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you uh, can hear my voice, it's a little bit different because she gave me a cold. Oh, yeah, of course it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely your fault. Um, uh... So I sound a little funny. Yeah. And thank you for letting me know about the microphone. <laughs> is it work now? Nobody else is complaining. So no, I, I think it's someone said it's now. on. It's a shame. Uh, on, yeah. Yeah. It was just your mixing board, though. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. wasn't a cat issue, because sometimes they do it, run across it. But... It could have been a cat <laughs> issue. They've been leaving it alone now, because I have moved it from the the desk down below. Yeah, yeah, So they yeah, usually yeah. don't get on it. Yeah. It's working. Yay. Yay. <laughs> thank you for confirmation. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do today, mostly, actually completely, is uh, be playing the arcade version of Galaga and comparing it to the Atari 2600 version mm. of Galaga made by Champ Games and mm. seeing if there's any huge differences yeah. um, in the way things work or the way things play that can be easily changed and, and put into the Atari 2600 because if you can hear that in the background, it's a cat playing with... <laughs> Cat's playing with a piece of plastic, <laughs> and they love it, apparently. Should I take it away from them? Uh, it's I don't know if fine. anyone can it hear probably, it. They probably can't hear it. It's pretty distant. Um, so we're going to be playing a little bit of the arcade, and then a little bit of the 2600 version, and then we we'll can both play it side by side at the same time, actually. Um, so that will be fun. And we've got some packages to open, but first uh, I want Sorry. to thank everybody... That has joined us today. Uh, Thrust 26, Nathan Strum, Arena Foot, Mallard Season, Kev 73, Thrust 26, which is Thomas, uh, Ice Posta, Arena Foot. Uh, those are all the people chatting and everybody else who is watching, who is not chatting. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers as well. Charles and Chuck, Gredham's Ground Trooper, I is supposed to, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC7E, Retro Trap. Retro Happy Hour, uh, Sir Catlegs, who's a new subscriber as of last show, mm -hmm. Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, and Tiki Dan K. And um, you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and click subscribe or just donate in general. And we have some mail today, yeah. which is very exciting. Oh, oh and Scorpion Illuminati Woo. just subscribed Thank for you. the first time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very cool. That is very, very awesome. Thank you. That's a new name. And, oh, Yars Revenge fan just typed something on the screen, so they got their name Hello. in. I followed offline last night so I could catch this stream. Oh, Ooh, that's very, very nice. awesome. That's very, very cool. Welcome to the stream. And we're going to open some Yay! mail and see what it is. I think this I know exciting. what this is, unless it isn't. Um, oh, it is what I thought it was. So let's bring out this one first. It is some shirts. Geeky, geeky Atari shirts. There we oh, go. Oh, cute. And this is super geeky. Oh, I like that. That's the cartridge. That's yep. this guy so right here. So that's, as soon as I saw these posters Oh, they're really us, nice. Yeah. I found out that they made t-shirts of those as well. And these are the patents, the actual drawings from the patents. And this one's for uh, the patent made, put out by Atari for their cartridge design. Very cool. Uh, and I got it in kind of a green nice green yeah. color it looked like, like it that. worked well blueprint t there you go that is a perfect name for it and of course i bought the other one <laughs> as well in a different color in oh, a and different a color That's i nice. like the gray and this is the actual patent for uh you can see the heavy sixer um from their patent that they filed the atari and uh yeah i thought this one would be awesome as well so you'll be seeing that me wearing it probably on the next show because it is brand new. But not this one because wearing my Galaga for oh, of course. playing Galaga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yes. Yeah. Those are nice. I like them. Mm -hmm. I love that style too, which has yes. that kind of old-fashioned look to it. Well, so, they are from yeah. the 70s. Simple. The designs. Well, yeah, but they're just like a two-color kind of print too. They're very yeah. nice. Yeah. And then we've got another package, and I do know what mm. this is. <laughs> 
Let's just cut that. Did it come from somewhere? Uh... Oh, okay. No. I Because I, I, I like sometimes you get the package, but it's spoiled because it says on the front for customs what was Oh, what, what it is. I already, by the name, I know what this is. Gotcha. So even if I didn't know what it was, um, I know what it is by the person's name. Let's just pull them out first. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and these are from... He just threw it on the cat, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's beside funny. the cat. Uh, he's and just lurking, lurking. These the are from Nathan Tolbert. Okay. Who um, Thank you, Nathan. does hardware design. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. And maybe you guys can guess what this is. It's got three uh, nine-pin ports on it. Uh, one would be for input. Oh, two would be for input. One would be for output. And there's actually two in this package. <clears throat> now, I did a beta test one of these earlier. Um, these are updated uh, versions of them. Uh, these are, yes, multi-taps. Yes, multi-joysticks. That is correct. Mm. Um, so there is two of them here. So one will go in port one and okay. one will go in port two. And you can play four joysticks nice. at once. Nice, 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 nice. And he also sent this, which is both of those put together into nice. one plastic enclosure. Plastic enclosure. So all four joysticks ah, can nice. go in and then connect to the back of the Atari 2600. There's, 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 that would be real nice for games like Warlords. Well, you don't need it for Warlords because Warlords does um, paddles and the paddles are ready Oh, there you go. And it's called the Quadtari, which is a great name. Warlords use paddles, and paddles already uh, already are split. So that's mm. that's fine. Um, so this allows four joysticks to um, be split into the two ports. <clears throat> or it also allows two joysticks to go into port one and the Atari Vox uh, or the save key to go into port two so that you can have voices and two players or two players and high scores as well. So we will actually be using this today mm. because the first ever uh, game has been programmed for the Quadtari, mm -hmm. which is Galaga, which is one of the updates. So we'll be using this today. Oh, interesting. Yes, very, very nice. And I will be doing beta testing for this product as well. And this will be released alongside Galaga, I believe. If it all lines up perfectly. <clears throat> Very cool. Uh, Mallard Season says, take my money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing product, which opens up a lot of possibilities so that you can have, um, say, announcements in sports games using mm -hmm. the Atari Vox and two players playing at the same See, time. See, that's really cool. That's yeah, really cool. That's, yeah. that's the exciting part yeah, of yeah. that. Or two players playing at the same time and saving your scores, mm -hmm. too as well for two player games. Um, now I, I'm going to put a question out to, I don't know if I've ever talked about this question out to everybody out there. Um, we'll see who comes up with it first. Um, now I have Instagram as well on zero page homebrew. Mm. That's, just, that's the title of it. Um, now I want to see if anybody can figure this out. Why do I get so many people? Not you don't you give it out because you know, why do I get so many people? liking my posts that are beer drinkers and have like beers as the beer at their, as their symbol and all they talk about is beer <laughs> um like specifically beer now see if anybody can figure out why my instagram gets so many people like that on it <laughs> you know why right no. yes okay yeah. um Arcade games and bars. Good guess. Good guess. <laughs> and I'll let that go into the uh, chat and we will go on to the next uh, homebrews. Thrust got it. Yes. <laughs> I use the hashtag homebrew. Yeah. And people just blindly go homebrew, get or a list. It's, or it's like a bot or something. Yeah, a bot. Yeah. And they're just searching for homebrew and they just, you know, they say follow and they like every post. And it's like, well, maybe they like Atari games and brewing beer. <laughs> But, uh, no, I think it's pretty much bots. Yeah. yeah. Homebrew comes beer. Yeah, yeah. You all got it. Excellent. Yeah. I yeah. guess it wasn't that hard of a mystery. <laughs> but at first I was like, why? Why are all these people 
following me and liking my page, then I was like, oh, homebrew beer. Yeah, it's okay. all about the beer. <laughs> <clears throat> so the donations for the Stella 12-hour fundraiser on June 28th are flooding in, which is wonderful. Wow, cool. Not donations as in money, but donations for auctioning off items mm. to raise money for Stella. Nice. First person to step up was Daryl Spice Jr. Very nice. Um, he has donated uh, Draconian, complete in box, mm. Medieval Mayhem, complete in box, oh. with the rare clear shell cart which i may be bidding on as well <laughs> um space rocks completed box with the fridge magnet space rocks poster signed all these are signed uh stay frosty 2 completed box limited edition cart number 51 signed stella's stocking cart number 153 signed and john shampoo has also uh just recently donated an item galaga complete in box which, of course, won't be out until later, but that will be available for auction. Nice. Um, and as well, there was another offer <laughs> by Nathan Strum mm -hmm. if I can beat his score in Galaga. Oh. This Galaga, Atari 2600 oh. Galaga. Because he was a beta tester. He's, he's the guy who did the graphics oh, for Oh, I it. see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and his score is 311,000. <laughs> 220 and i think my best so oh. far is like in the 60s 70s maybe on galaga yeah this version. that's a pretty high score to beat but we you have been try. playing the version where your ship runs away <laughs> and you don't get double ship unless you are able to shoot it oh yeah that's true but that's been fixed that's been fixed so yeah. it'll yeah. make it a lot better oh yeah. star wars bearer welcome hello my brother paid 50 dollars for et seal when the whole dump thing rumor just started yeah. Ugh. That's not a great price. <laughs> I mean, sealed in perfect condition, I still wouldn't pay that much. But I don't really care about star uh, sealed cartridges and sealed ones. I mean, they're worth a lot yeah. if they're sealed. Because yeah. it's pretty hard to get something from the 1980s, early 1980s, oh, of course, in yeah. perfect condition yeah. sealed. Um, but that's what people are paying for, the the, the whole uh, the dumpster Thing out in the copies yeah yeah that were all crushed yeah they're paying like 100 150 for the dirty ones when they the... first came out you mean uh no when they found them when they dug oh, them up oh i see yeah 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 that's so funny that um, someone went and dug them up I yes just, yeah anyway. it, from the dump <laughs> and there's going to be more pending items uh coming from john champo and also albert yuruso from atari age oh, he'll be nice. donating some stuff as well that's that's super awesome yeah yeah um, and we're going to be doing challenges and stuff during the uh, marathon, um, playing s specific games, trying to get high scores, trying to reclaim a bunch of my uh, world records. My wall jump ninja has been beat. My crazy balloon world record has been beat. I want to increase my draconian world record because I don't think it's at a level where I'm comfortable. You want it higher. I want it much higher. Yeah, yeah. We're going to try and go for the patch for astronomer. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and beat Deanoid's high score on Amoeba Jump as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Amoeba, that would be good. I like Amoeba Jump. That's yeah, a that's fun, always that's a, a fun, fun game. game. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys want to give out suggestions for what homebrew games we should play yeah. or what challenges we should do um, or games we should try and finish, like get to the end of, or any other ideas, um, yeah, just send them to me, email, go on the forums, go on Facebook or Instagram or anything and let me know. And we're going to try and finish Night Guy in Low Res World, Spies in the Night 2, KO Boxing, AVGN KO Boxing, Lost Cat, Hunchy 2, Isaiah's Wee Chase as well. Mm -hmm. Just got pretty close on that, I think. So, uh, on to the games. On to the game. <laughs> we're going to be playing Galaga, which has a whole bunch of updates from last time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he removed the passcode. No need for the passcode yeah. anymore. Thank goodness. <laughs> Um, it unhides the score on death. It get hit, gets hidden on flying to reduce flicker. And if you noticed you die in the flying stage, your short is, score doesn't get shown. So it'll come up more often, okay. your score. Okay. Just not while the things are flying No, around. no, no. That's fair enough. Yeah. 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 Uh, fix the score table shot bug on score screen. If you had it said to advance, the enemy ships would not get destroyed because they move too fast. The boss mm. ship collision with the red ship frees the captured ship. Um, so before when you collided yeah. with the ship that captured you, with the Galaga that captured you, yeah. it would just disappear. 
or keep going. Oh, I see. In the see. arcade, you take over that. You get the shit back? Yes. It's yeah. as if you shot it, because you did destroy you did, it. You did kill, kill yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, yeah. Arena foot. No, that's a terrible suggestion. High score, <laughs> s slow burn, screen burn. It's a game you don't play, and it just runs. I guess we could have it <laughs> running in the background on, on, a, on a screen. Yeah. But still. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Play not homebrew and Stella Marathon. Yeah, we will be playing some non-homebrew in the Stella Marathon because it is about Stella, mm. not specifically about homebrew. And Stella plays all Atari 2600 games. Yeah, so you games. can play some of the other, some of the, some other of games the classic too. games. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. give suggestions for that. Um, somebody already suggested in the forums that we pit um, Atari's checkers against Activision's checkers. Like play them off against each other. <laughs> they're on two AI. Yeah, they're yeah, AI. yeah. That'd be fun. That'd and see fun. who actually wins. Yeah. And the person said it's never been done live. It's been done, you know, non. Like it has a s yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but not live, so we can just go. Oh, you done your turn? Okay. Uh, yeah, Put, yeah. Set it to like the most advanced. Gotcha. So it blanks out and really thinks about it hard, and nice. then and then we make the next move. Yeah. Nice. Um. Uh, show the score right away on the scoring screen. The blank screen for one second looks strange. Uh, high score reset from the high score screen. Press and hold to reset and then press select to reset the scores for that skill level. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like your high scores anymore, you can wipe them all out. Mm -hmm. Start them from enough. scratch. Yeah. Um, and you can also do it on, the, on startup by holding reset while powering on the game. So there's two ways to reset. That resets all the scores. Um, he added save key support. So there are scores. So okay. you, when you come back, play it later, you, your, your scores, scores are, are still, still there. there. Yep. So that's very yeah, awesome. That that's is, really I think big. people want that, yeah. <laughs> yep. Saves yeah. the top five scores for each of the four skill levels, plus the last three initials entered for each player, plus the last skill level and mm. the number of players. Interesting. Um, he added Quatari support Woo! to this new one. This new multi uh This is the new multi-tap being developed by Nathan Tolbert that allows you to plug in two joysticks into the first controller port with the save key in the second support, uh, second port. Mm. Note that the two-player alternating is also supported with save key and uh, no multi-tap. Uh, both players use the left joystick or without save key, player one uses the left controller and player two uses the right controller. Mm. So there are three different ways to play Galaga. Uh, one, where you don't have this. Yeah, you um, just alternate. Where you can alternate on the same joystick. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, and have the save key. Yeah. And one where you don't have this as well, and player one's in one joystick, player two's in the other joystick gotcha. port. Yeah. Then there's the one where this one. Yeah. Where. You have the save key. You have the save key, and both players are on the same, uh, on two different joysticks. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so keep the red ship on wraparound, which was the bug that we encountered last time. Where the your ship would just go it just, by. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till the next level. It'll come yeah. back. Boo. <laughs> uh, previously, when the boss guarding the red ship and there was less than six enemies on the screen, the boss would wrap around and the ship would disappear. Oh, so your ship would come back if there was more than six enemies. If there's less than six it enemies, would it that would disappear. That would make sense. Oh, so that's why maybe it wasn't was encountered bug. during beta testing. Yeah, but I mean, when we were playing it, usually we had most of the other enemies killed by that's, the time by the time they warped why. up the ship. So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so Nathan Strum may must have not killed most of the people and got captured before he killed most of the Maybe. people. Maybe, or it just wasn't noticed right away because he was able to kill kill the ship and get his second ship. Because yes. if you can do it. If, if you're a competent Galga, Galga player and you, you can do it right away, then you're never going to encounter that issue, right? So, That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and yeah, if you shoot it on the first I pass. I am not a competent Galaga player. <laughs> So, so I lose my ship continuously. <laughs> and that's good for beta testing too. Well, that's that's exactly it. Yeah. Because you can't different play it skill perfectly levels. every single time. That's right. Yeah. And thank you, Mallard Season. Yeah. Save key is available in the store. He okay. just put it in like a week and a half ago. So if you wanted to have, if you don't have a save key or Atari box, mm. um, you can get that and save your high scores. Mm. In um, probably I think it's like thirty different games use the save key now. Mm. Something like that. 
Um, and a demo uh, version of the game will be released when the game is finished. People mm. have been asking about that. Where can I get it? Mm. When can I play it? Mm. So it's the game's very close mm -hmm. to being done. <laughs> it seems pretty good. It's pretty good. good. Yeah, so now we're just looking good. for like really minor things, little, yeah. little tiny weird just things. just tweaking at this point. And trying yeah. to get it as close to the arcade as possible. Uh, oh, we saw the bug, but I didn't realize it wasn't part of the arcade game. Uh, oh, okay. Fair that enough. makes sense. That's fair enough. And people have been asking, will there be a PAL version? There, <coughs> there will be a PAL version of the game released. So people in Europe, no problem. Excellent. It'd be a PAL 60, just like all the other champ games. Um, and uh, Brian C. asked, will there be an Easter egg for Galaga to change the title screen to Galagon? Because that was his name for the Galaga game in DOS uh, that John uh, oh. John Champo made a long time ago. Oh, okay. Um, he said, thanks for your support with Champ Galagon. I loved, I like, glad that you liked it. As for the Easter egg, we probably won't have room, but we're mm. still debating on the name. So Galagon may make it to the title screen oh, one could. way or another. Yeah. Because, you know, the name Galaga brings a lot of heat. And oh, yeah. Yeah. And so Namco may be like, mm, no, maybe not this one. Maybe we'll say no to this one. So mm. Galagon may be the name mm. um, that it ends up with. Maybe Galaga. So they're still debating on that. Either way, it's going to be this game. And yeah. it's going to be awesome. Who cares what it's named? It's essentially going to be Galaga. So there you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, and Nathan Strump said, uh, looks like cool. Looks like you're slightly enjoying John's new game. <laughs> and I said I was going to play it today. I don't think I'll be able to watch it live, which is a lie because he's right there. <laughs> Uh, well, but, the first time, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but here's the score on standard for you to take a shot at tomorrow, which uh, is today. Okay. 31,220. And he promised if, that I, if I beat the score today that he would donate a Retron 77 oh. loaded with the games that he contributed to. He's the artist. Nice. Um, onto a ROM included with the Retron 77. Nice. And Thomas Yentz already gave his approval for all of his games to go on that ROM <laughs> to be loaded on. That's a pretty high score, though. <laughs> it's 30, 30, three, sorry, not 31,000, 311,000. 31,000 is easy. It's 311,220. Wow. Did mm -hmm. I mis misspoke? I must have. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't anyway, know. Yeah. Anyway, it is 311,000. Yeah. 31,000 is nothing. That's really easy to get. <laughs> so I went, uh, um, hmm. I don't know if I could do that, <laughs> but I will try. Might as well try. I will try. Hurts no one to try. Yeah. So uh, right now we're going to check out the arcade version of Galaga. Uh, let's see. Which one should we do? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Load that up. I'm just going to rearrange things here. Just one second. <laughs> just so it's nice and big. For everyone out there. There we go. And I'm going to get Tanya to play first while I keep rearranging things. So press the button. Start. Oh, 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 that doesn't help if you're not on it. Press it. There we go. I'm just going to be moving around things for just a second. And people may hear it pretty loud. I'm just going to put it on that screen for now. Yeah, sorry, headphone users. That was very loud. So you should be able to use... Sorry, we're just setting things up. Yeah. <laughs> just one second. Oh. That I'm... button, that one. Oh. No, oh, there's no control. I'm not on it. You're just going to die okay. for a second. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> one second. Just making things look a little bit better. <laughs> See their patterning. Oops. Damn it. Messing things up. 
There we go. That's a bit better. We've got the logo now. Oh, I tuned in for Arcade Galaga. Yes. <laughs> we are going to play the arcade game for just a little bit. So there we go. Should be fine. You'll there. notice we're, we're looking to the right because the screen where we, we have to use is... Is, is uh, on the right here. Is on the right here. Yeah. I was trying to put it on the screen up here, but... Uh, how is the volume? Should be pretty good. Yeah, so we're going to be comparing the two... Two different versions. Ah, which of button? It. <laughs> Nathan Storm, I'm terrible at the arcade, so I'm enjoying this while I can. Turn up the volume a bit? Okay. Uh, this is going to take you out of it, though. I'm going to wait till uh, the That's next okay. level. That's okay. Go ahead. Turn, turn, it, turn oh. it down. There we go. It's, 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 it's um. <laughs> no, uh, there's a fair, that. there's a fair distance uh, between me and the screen. And yeah. My poor, my poor eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Let me know if that's better. There we go. Yay. That should be really loud now. Yeah. <laughs> really loud? Pretty loud. <laughs> For everybody out there now. Yes. Good. Okay. Excellent. When it plays the music. Oh. Too many. Too many. Oh. Uh. Alright. Okay. My turn. Woohoo! Arcade Galaga! So, one thing I am noticing after having played it very briefly. Well, no, we played it. We played it. What, the Arcade Galaga? No, no. Uh, when did I play Atari Galaga with you? Was that Thursday night? Friday night? Uh, Friday. 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 Um, no. Not Friday. Yeah. Not Friday. No, not, not Friday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. No. No, we played, we played an extra round of it. In the evening. Anyway, I digress. Uh, definitely there's more on the screen. Uh, I think there's more, there are more, um, enemies on the screen. So. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that the ship moves slower across the screen left and the right. The ship moves slower and it does feel like the enemies move a little faster, maybe. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll see when we play side by side. It's a little hard to judge. Yeah, side by side will help me. Yeah. I do feel like there are more enemies on the screen, but maybe I'm wrong. So the game is not very loud, but the explosions are. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know much about that. Well, I could, but it would take time. I'd be able to, like, compress the sound. Not bad. Yeah. Something for the 2600 version, you remember. Well, you know, I don't know if we'd want to replicate that, I guess, for um, sound volume. Yeah, 2600 ah. is eight enemies across. Oh, is, is this more? This is more enemies across. That's what so I is supposed to sing. Missed one! I think it has ten across? This one, this one has more, I think. Well, there is a limitation in terms of uh, how many things you can do across the screen. Yeah. You, oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Because of sprites and flickering yeah. and it doesn't have any... It's not a criticism, it's just, it's just oh, no, an observation. No, no. <laughs> oh, the, the scorpions. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job of the, uh, of the scorpions oh, yeah. coming down on the Atari. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't get three ships. No, no, no. Not in this one. In no. Delegate ADH, you can. Mm. Ooh. 
Dive bombers. <laughs> Again, something I think they replicated really well in the Atari 2600. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> How many lines are you using, do you know? Uh, in the game? I know, I know he's pushing it. Because he does go right to the top and still cuts off half the uh, ships. Oh, with one guy. Terrible. And I have no extra lines. Terrible! Yeah, you really need the double shift, don't you? Unchallenging? Yes. It just makes it so much easier. And this one's so much shorter, like the time you have to shoot them. Yeah. They bounce on and off the screen really quick. Really quick. Proportions, distances, spacing all get changed. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. It's just... I mean, this is a vertical game, and... I think every home version of Galaga had to have some concessions being made because you don't have home the distance. Is, you yeah. don't have the vertical distance. You have to compress it uh, vertically. I mean, I don't have an extra ah. shirt. Ah. I'm stuck in the corner. Oh right. my goodness. No, no, oh. no. Bad. No. I have been watching, um, no! <laughs> they keep coming after you. Normally, I would be like, yeah, please. I'm not really close to, uh, close to, uh, extra yeah. ship. What's the extra ship? 70,000? 70, 70,000, yeah. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Ooh, they're getting fast now. Really fast. Like, look how fast they loop around. Whoa! Oh, sorry, but... <laughs> it's a looping back. It's like keeping an eye on the ships that loop down and then, then come up from behind. Okay. Very good. So, more lines used in 2600, the less overscan CPU, of course. So, yeah, yeah it's a balance. Um, so, let it, let's go back to the... 2600 version of it now. <coughs> Excuse me. How do I mute this? There we go. Okay, so let's turn on. Is it 2600 on? Yes. Oh. Why is it not showing? Did I turn it off accidentally? Yes, I did. Oh. One second. Please hold. <laughs> You need the test pattern up on the screen. What is happening? Is this the Atari? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna use. Um, we're gonna play it normally, and then we're gonna uh, try the uh, Quadtari a little mm. bit later. But we're just gonna look at it first and compare them first. Okay. 208 lines, I think. 208 lines. Mm. So that's normally it's, uh, I think, usually 192 lines. Oh, why is there no. You muted it? No. Sound. Oh, I think it's being bad. Let You're me bored? Do something really quick. Uh, the the uh, capture card went a little nuts for a second, so I think this will fix the audio. Yep. Okay. It's good. Yep. Go for it. I don't have the Atari box Oh no, there's a lot on the screen. For some reason, I was thinking there was a lot less, but... When they come on? Or no, across? just across, but... Oh no, it's pretty wide. It's, it's eight. pretty wide.
Good job. <sighs> So one of the things that I uh, observed while watching people play of uh, the arcade version yeah. is that if you stay in the same place, the bullets will go towards you. Yes, yes they do. So what you want to do is stay in the, stay in a safe place, and like move a away corner, and then move after they shoot. Like just slightly move over, and then continue shooting. Of course, in this version, you don't have as much vertical room to see the bullets come. Yeah, it's true. I think you do move faster in this. I, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. You have more screen. You have more it, screen to move, I guess. It, it feels like you have more screen to move. Yeah. So, yeah, to go from one side, to, it's going to be a compromise because dimensions have changed. Yep. Um, so there's... Oh, oh no! Uh, we'll see. Oh, he's still there! Yay! Yay. Ah. Oh! <laughs> now you get more than one chance. Oh! oh! That is the opposite of what you want to no. do. And you died, too. Oh, I know. So you lost two ships in one there. Take revenge. You know, I get in there. Well, you could get in there, but as you spin around, you'd have to shoot him perfectly. But you don't want to try for that. Oh, gee. That's very hard. Could do that. Yeah, it's very, very hard to do. Not recommended. <laughs> Terrible. That's only like last case scenario. <sighs> that was good. Yeah, I know I'm noticing the score flashing up a little more frequently. Experts, do any past homebrew have eight horizontal not flickering, or this is a first? Um, he said he, he based, uh, John C. said he based this off of Galaxian for the 2600. Um, how many did Galaxian have across? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, we don't have Atari Box plugged in, which we need to right now. Um, I don't know, you just don't bother putting it in. I'm just going to turn it off and turn it back on. So we can plug in the Atari Box and start saving our scores. Yay! Hold it down. Yep. Atari uh, Box. Oh. oh, we missed the Atari Box. Okay, my turn. All right. There we go. Save key found. Save key found. And uh, Nathan's score was in standard, so I have to... Is it standard or advanced? Yeah. standard. Advanced has more dive bombing? Uh, less, one less life? One less life? I think you get one less life. In a nest? Yep. And they start off shooting rather than oh. just coming down. This is standard. No. This is standard. Is it? Yes. They, they didn't shoot when they came down? I guess they didn't in the first round. No. I think what makes Galaga a great shooting game is just what feels like the really chaotic nature of the enemies. Yes. And very unpredictable in how they, they fall. I mean, I'm sure there is they There's, are predictable in some way, but they feel they, so unpredictable, and they the way yeah. they dive bomb and, and attack you is is really unique. It is, um, and it keeps it keeps it very dynamic. Dynamic, and they're short games for the most part, because it's very hard to score high. I mean, obviously there are experts at it, but, but oh, as yeah. a game, if you pick it up and play it, it, the game might last, like, a couple minutes, you know? <laughs> yes. Uh, but it's still fun couple it's minutes. It's still fun, and you want to keep playing, which is the key to okay? arcade games. Good times. <laughs> Good 
job. Thank you very much. Two ships to the challenge stage. Get them. Get them all. Good job. <gasps> no! Damn it! <laughs> so Damn close! It. Oh no! So close. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, there is a background oh, game noise. Oh, you got noise. an extra life. Oh, yeah, uh, at 20,000. That's right. If I stop shooting, you will hear the background noise. We'll play that a little bit later. It's really, really cool, actually. There's a background noise? There is. After they all fly in. Oh, and finish... for the challenging remote? Oh, at, nope, just at... in general. After... Oh, oh, my gosh. After they all fly in. It's okay. You still got an even extra ship, so... Just not paying attention. Oh. Not paying attention. That's okay, you're, t you're chatting. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of mental uh, focus. Because you have to keep that pattern of stay, shoot, move after they've shot. Okay. That's, that's, the, um, that's the key for that. For staying alive in this. So I was watching the world record holder play. Oh, the yeah? Game, that's, that's his. That would be fascinating. Uh, for a bit. Because <laughs> it just repeats. Well, like he, when they're that good, the, they just keep going. He has the same strategy for every level. So there are 99 levels. Uh, 250. Really? I I saw oh, my God. To. That's insane. But at some point, it must just repeat continuously. Uh, like, yes, it can't get faster and faster. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't there has like to be super a maximum. fast. There has to be a maximum. It wasn't super fast when he was playing. Okay. Like, it was fast, but it wasn't, like, amazingly fast, like, oh my god, 20 times faster than... Yeah, I see what you're saying. There was a limit, and it, it, it peaked. Good job. Thank you. Can you shoot your own ship while it's captured? Yes, bad idea. Yeah, which is what, what I did, actually. <laughs> Yeah. Accidentally. You don't want to do that because you get a thousand points, but then your ship is gone. Yeah. Because if you're desperate for that thousand points. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, you're right. The bullets don't track towards you, but... Oh, they do. No, they don't in this in Atari? Are they tracking to? Oh, yeah, they oh, are. Oh, yeah, every time they're going... They are they tracking don't, towards they're not, you. They're not heat-seeking, but, no, but they go towards where you are. This one's harder, though. Oh, yeah. They get harder as they go down. And um, you have to memorize the pattern. Of course. Pattern seems a little different than, than the arcade one. No. Which is... No. No, no, really? They look, they look different to me. They're shorter. The challenge builds were a lot shorter in the arcade. No, those guys came in and went right out again. I don't know. I, I think <laughs> they were different. I could be wrong. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at the complexity of this game and that. So I don't know how he does eight because in programming the Atari 2600 you can do triplicates and you have two sprites and two triplicates of sp uh, three sprites is six. So how is that eighth one done? Shots, now we're on the ninth level where it's sped up in the arcade where they're coming in. It seem like they are moving faster there. Yeah, they're they are moving faster, but quite a bit faster actually. Yeah. Oh, there's Galagon or what are they called? The Galaxians. Galaxians, that's it. Pack the wrong with one. Start with one point over. 
down with his little protector guy. I have to shoot that guy. Protector. Oh no, he didn't attach himself. Do they cement? Yeah. <gasps> Woo, good job. Yay, back to normal. <laughs> level 10. It's not challenge level. No. They're not shooting. No, I, th I think this is the level where it resets a little bit and kind of goes back to level 1 in terms of pattern. Pattern? But they are faster. Still. They're but faster, but them not shooting does make it easier. Yeah. For sure. Yay, challenge stage. Uh, dragonflies. Ah! Missed it. <laughs> so much work. Ah! I don't know the pattern of that. <laughs> In uh, Galaga 88, there's amazing music during the challenging stages. It's like... Uh, 88, yeah. It's... It's like ballet music. Oh. Uh, remember that? Ah! Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's like a waltz. It's like the Viennese oh. waltz. Sorry, don't try to sing the Viennese waltz while you're playing. No. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to shoot everything with one guy. Oh. oh. Extra life, or I did you did. already did? I did. Oh, I uh, got a ways to go to the next one. Yeah. Oh. I shot him. Ah, seventy-seven. Far from three hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Far. <laughs> like five fifth of it. Terrible. Yeah. But Maybe I did make a lot of mistakes. Percent ratio. Level twelve. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's better than I've done before. There we go. Now we can see my score. Nice. There we go. Very okay, nice. now we're going to plug in the um, Quadtari. Okay. So we can both play and uh, so let me configure this. Uh, there is a cat that has joined us. Oh, and there. Come here, come here. Where did I put it? There it is. Come here. So, come here, Atari. Here we go. This plugs into. Come, buddy. Come here. Port. Oh, oh God. These connectors. Oh, no. What's wrong? I need some specific connectors. Uh oh. Which I may not have out. Oh, no. Might have to save it for another day. Oh, they're all locked away. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll save it for another day. Yeah? Yeah. The Quatari? Yeah, because I don't I don't know where they are, and it'll take a long time. Oh. Um, I speak. Yeah. We'll save it for another day. It's okay. It's okay. Atari I'll really, really wanted to play with us. Oh, so. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. Nice warm-up game. Yes, it was not bad. Not bad. You ready for another one? Um, you gonna, you, you play cat? next. I have a cat on my lap at the moment. Okay. So it should have saved the scores. There you go. Save key worked. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, Atari's very excited. Oh. Yeah. All right, round two. So happy. Can you hear that through the mic? <laughs> they might have Probably heard that not. one. That one is pretty loud. Yeah. All right. Aw. And reset. <laughs> that was not good. And you can skip the opening music, too, which is kind of nice. You can't do in the opening. By pressing the button. You notice that on the new build. Oh, 
You can skip the opening music? Yeah. Ah, and you couldn't last time. No. I kind of like that it forces you through the opening music. <laughs> it forces you to listen to yes. it? Yes. It's like, it's, it's like, build up. it's a build up of tension before you start, you know, like, okay, it's going to start really soon. You don't have to press the button. <laughs> I just like that. Because I think the arcade, you can skip through it. No, no. It just, you had to sit through had to all sit the through music. It. Now, does that stay too long? The, the ship gets captured, just stays there for, it feels like a little too long. Really? Compared to the arcade? the arcade? Nah, it's not a big deal. No, but if you, if you can make it more accurate with something like simple as that. Ah. Oh. oh! But see, that demonstrates that you get the ship if you accidentally crash into it. You get your ship back instead of it disappearing. Yeah. Better than no ship. That's okay. Of course, he's been playing for a month now. That is true. We haven't been playing this in a while, so. Yeah. I like that. Rrr, 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 oh, yeah, you can hear it here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the low it's the, grumbling. It's the low buzz and grumble of all the enemy ships. Yeah. I all like the machinery. It. Yeah. Yeah, what I wasn't, I was not paying attention to his color, and that's why I crashed into him. Um, because he has to be yeah. blue. Blue for one shot, yeah. green for two, so. Thank goodness he's gonna blue. Ah! It's funny, watching him, I, you suddenly realize he does twist around. He does, he, you do run the risk of hitting your own ship by, oh, by yeah. his movement. Oh yeah, that's very intentional. Oh my god, the bullets are kind of making me move out of the way. <laughs> Yay. Terrible. Spice Force says, Stay Frosty 2 uses 210 lines. Oh my goodness, it's a cat. Shedding? Shedding your winter coat? Oh to memorize where they come in and out. Oh. <laughs> oh, kitty kitty. This is Atari. Yeah. Our cat named Atari. Just random. Random name picked no. out of the air. techniques of sticking and moving. sounds are hard. I've had trouble with TIA and sampling explosions. But it's built in. It's got that <laughs> white noise built in. Mm -hmm. But it's getting the right explosion. <gasps> no! Oh no! He moved to the side. Oh, this is a terrible game. Oh, giving up. No point. There's no point at all. Oh. No point. when somebody has a cat. Oh god, yeah. Because <laughs> it, it is inescapable. Restart number three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Arena Fun's keeping track of, <laughs> Your of restarts. That is not good, I guess. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, you want a good start to the game. Yeah. There's no point. Especially with limited. Limited Yay. time. I saw when the um, record holder was was playing, he would stay in yeah. one position as they came in, and of course, exactly where they were coming in, he yeah. knew every, shoot, 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 every pattern. Yeah, of course. And he would sli just slightly move over, like just barely move over when the bullets came. In. Yeah, oh just enough God. to be out of out of the shot. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Not so good. That was bad. Let's see, 100% on fun. challenge level three. Mm. No. no. <laughs> I love the star field in the background. It's I think they did such a good job so of that. So colorful. Great job. Yay. Nathan Strong. Oh no. God. I'm the hardest. See, he's the. Sh they're shooting when they're down low, and I think that's the problem I'm having there. Yeah. Is that I'm I'm directly beneath them and yeah, they're dropping Yeah, you want to kind of get away from them. Remember, he's green. You have to hit him oh, twice. Oh, yes, that's right. So I get a bonus one. James doesn't have it memorized. That helps where place your ship before yeah. you came out. Yeah. Once, when, when you've been playing it for a while, you know exactly where to, where to sit. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to shoot that guy up there. So if you're gonna try and, and beat Nathan's score, I'm probably gonna have to play a little bit more to memorize the positioning. Yes. Oh, oh. It's the same the pattern. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you can shoot him while he's up there. Uh, he'll go right away. Almost. There, there you go. go. Yay. Yay! I do have one thing memorized. It's always oh, they always come in on a two wave pattern at the top. Then the left. Then right. And then top left. Oh my god! And then top right. Yeah. Right into it. See, I'm moving. That's the problem. Moving while they're coming in. And going right into their bullets. Terrible game, but I won't reset. Must be punished. <laughs> For terrible play. No! <laughs> you got him. You do get more points. For shooting the Galagas when they're in formation. Okay. But shooting the Galagas, not their attached ships. Okay. Let's see, it's only 800 by themselves, but I think mm. it's like 1,000 or 1,200 when they're with their friends. Oh. Okay, your turn. My turn. And I'm going to read some strategy. Okay. I will try to absorb what I can. <laughs> So the world record holder for uh, Galaga is 9,525,700. Jeez, okay. And then 8 million, then 5 million, and they were all set within the last two months. Really? Yes. In the last two months? Ta last two months. People are still destroying Galaga scores. The, the newest one was set a month and two days ago. The newest Galaga record, so it is very fresh in people's uh, uh, consciousness. Playing Galaga, they're still on it. 12 hour Galaga for high score challenge marathon. We will be playing Galaga definitely during the 12 hour marathon. That is for sure. Get in there. Um, so let's open some strategy guides. How to play Galaga like a pro. 
<laughs> on WikiHow. WikiHow. <laughs> Here's how to play for many hours while only having to play pay one for one credit. Oh! I'm really good at shooting my own ship when it's captured. Kill all of the aliens except for the two blue aliens in the far left side. The aliens will cycle through the same motions for five to thirty minutes. Watch out. Occasional shots will come from the right hand side of the screen. Be careful to react. Take notice of the way the blue aliens move. There's enough space to move through during the loop. Practice this technique. If the game becomes harder, this technique will allow you to escape what would be otherwise certain death. Practice shooting at the aliens by pressing the start button instead of fire. What? This practice will allow you to get your timing down. Interesting. Can the aliens stop shooting? Wait for several cycles to make sure the game is set. The aliens will not shoot anymore during the game. This is like the Easter egg. Once you're certain the game is set, you can shoot the two remaining aliens. Method 2. 1. Allow one of your ships to be captured. Rotating the scene where the game is not being played will demonstrate this. $100 if you beat the 9 million high score. <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly not me. One, it's not going to happen. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's not going to happen. End of list. <laughs> Galaga's turned blue after being hit once. Once a Galaga's making a capture run, shoot it once. If not already blue, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, method three. Minimize the attack at the beginning of the stage. Attack slightly off-center to the right immediately after the stage message appears. If you shoot at the right time, it will hit two of the blue aliens before they move to the left. Shoot the red aliens on the right-hand side. You may you want to destroy as many aliens as possible. Learn when to bug out. This is a very subtle timing. After the first couple of stages, some of the bugs will be making diving attacks when you enter. You will need to move at the right time. If you leave too soon, they will attack you at your new location. Oh, ah! If you leave too late, the creatures will crash into you. So you have to kind of move as they're diving. Oh, you got them all! That's how you get points. I guess I'm missing points because I'm killing everything as they come in well, and not getting those scorpions. Yeah, the scorpions seem a good one to... Method 4. Learn the way the aliens <laughs> enter. Method 4 or 5. Learn the way the aliens enter. Yes, this is yeah. what I need to know. Basic entrance pattern on each stage, except for the challenging stage, goes like this. Double top attack. Got that one. Red and blue aliens come out from the top. Each stage starts with a double top attack. The attack below changes depending on the stage. Fortunately, the changes are not random. Okay. Uh, the first stage after each challenging stage is always a double side attack stage. Otherwise, they will enter as described below. So, the pattern only changes after a challenge stage. Galaga's and red aliens enter from the bottom left. Red aliens bottom right. Blue aliens top left. Blue aliens top right. Double side attack stage. Oh, okay, okay. So they come in from the sides after a challenging stage. Double side attack. Bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. Pretty sure the cheatster egg won't make John's version. Yeah, he wasn't so sure about adding that in. Because you can cheat and get high scores that way. So it's not a great thing to add in. Because then people will just cheat the game and then you have to watch for people to cheat the game. For when they post high scores. And oh then they my god. <laughs> Sorry. And, and that would be just annoying for record keeping. I mean, it'd be easy to find out if none of the aliens are shooting. Learn the order, uh, the different stage entrance options. 
The aliens always enter in five waves, except for stage four. The entrance goes like this after every challenging stage. Okay, double side attack. The aliens come in with both sides throughout the entrance stage. Double up attack. The aliens come in side by side. It's the most difficult set to kill. You have to destroy one layer to get to the other. Side by side. Okay. You can always get away with sloppy play in most stages. Always bring yourself to full attention during the double, double up attack stage. Single file attack. Twice as long, but one after another. Should be able to hit almost all of the aliens during that entrance. While you're shooting enter, entering aliens, try to clear one side of the screen of aliens. This will give you a semi-safe area. This, the direction the blue aliens will rotate will be determined by their side. Okay. Try and stay to one side clearing out because that will give you a safe area. That's smart. Okay. The directions the blue aliens will rotate will be determined by their side. So this is the side by side. So the yeah. Both sides. The the on, the sides. on both sides instead yeah. of one side and the other. Yeah. So that one. Okay. Whoa. Oh. That was close. Nuts. Okay. Forty-five, two, three. Oh, you can it's put not in too your bad. Score. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Percent QG. I'm like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. And then uh, running get some water, I'll be okay. Right back. The right, then the top left. Oh, but they're going to the right. And then the top right coming in onto the left. Let's clear out one side of the board, because that means we're safe. Oh, I thought that was the second dive. Okay, this will be the second dive. Oh, it has to be a totally new alien. This guy. There we go. Three sets of fly-in patterns. Hmm, yeah, it listed only two. Well, it listed one as the standard one, uh, and then it changes up after a challenge stage. Oh, I was lucky? Is that how it works? Yeah, it must. Death. Die, die. Okay. Right, and we're going to... So there's a little different. There we go. Challenging stage. Then the left. No, I missed one again. Gonna come in on both sides then? Double side attack? No. of all the aliens at the top, the yeah. bugs, yeah. is so awesome. Yeah. Where they come in and go like this. Yeah. So, so good. It's these, these 
subtle things that just make it so good. Oh, oh. my god. That's what you gotta watch out for when you're spinning around. He does that loop and your guy is... Or even when he's going at an angle, your guy's exposed. Yeah. Well, every time he spins around. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible when it's just the one. Yeah. Oh, well, you got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not that's a double shift, not though. Not good. <laughs> Flips table. Yeah. Flip. Exactly. <laughs> so annoying. They really, will shoot. Really end up out of the way. Yeah. I was half okay. listening to your tips and tricks as I was playing. Well, they're pretty convoluted. Like they're... Well, no, but I thought it was interesting that your movement as they come down affects which ones dive bomb you. I, I need to I need to look at that again. <laughs> I heard you say that. Yeah. Uh, because it does impact, like, the difficulty in a way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to look at that again. Well, it's yeah. still on the page. Okay. So. Uh... Maybe you can translate it a bit for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of good hits in health. Thirty-nine, not bad. This looks really playable. Oh yeah, it's very playable. It's really, really good. <laughs> it's it's so smooth. The uh, the movement of your ship is, is absolutely perfect and flawless. Like, it's so reactive. The um, I was looking at the gameplay of went right into it. Seven the seventy eight hundred version, and it's like chunky. The guy the enemy ships coming in is like. Oh yeah, it's yeah. So not terrible. not smooth movement. Yeah. Not smooth at all. So so this is this is what you had mentioned that I just caught the tail end of. Um, number two in this list. Of yeah. Learn when to bug out. This is very subtle timing. After the first couple of stages, some of the bugs will make diving attacks at you while you enter. You will need to move out at the right time. If you leave too soon, they will attack you at your new location. If you leave too late, the creatures will crash into you. So if you move at just the right time, they won't attack you twice, is what they're saying. Like you, you really, you, or or maybe it's just that they'll when just they're they'll, entering. Okay. Yeah, because when they when they dive bomb you, I think I think all they're saying is is don't well, move they, too early, or they'll continue to go in your direction. I think you have to wait until they're close enough to you to move out of the way. I think that's all that means. 
I thought it, I thought I it was saying. I think they always go at you. Yeah. It just depends where you are trying to get I, them. I think to go they're at just you. saying practice moving out of the way. That's that's all it is. Yes. If you at move right too timing. soon, they'll continue going in your direction. So you don't want to move too soon. I think that's Pro all. tip: only get captured on level two and level six just before challenging. Why would you want not want to get captured on level one? Okay. What did I? Have? Standard. No. Oh, no. You're. There you're good. Okay. Unless you want to play it bad. Nope. <laughs> No. Just I think before they're, challenging. They're just, yeah. Why would you not? Like, it's so much easier to play the game if you're think, captured all the time. Yeah, but I think if you're going for points, it might not necessarily. That might not necessarily be the case. I think it doesn't matter. Points, points are the same. Oh, don't kill all those ships. <laughs> I have at least two. Two left. Okay, yeah, I guess. I believe, yeah, you have to have two left. One has to dive, and then, then the second one is the one that gets you. Yeah, from a point standpoint, I don't They kill your second ship. Um, I find it easier to play with two ships. Even oh, though for sure. you are wider, you have so much better oh, shooting well, ability. You move through the level a, a lot faster. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ooh. That was the wrong thing to do. You might as well shoot him. Really? Yeah, he's your enemy now. He won't... Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. He's, he's, he's trying to kill you now. He's defected. Oh, he doesn't come back. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's how it works in the arcade or not. <sighs> I don't know. I to... Does he come back around? Hmm. I'll try that out. Is he captured? He doesn't come back as oh, a captured ship, maybe. does he? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe if you let him go. Ah! Maybe if you let him go, he will come back as a captured ship. So that might be a strategy. Yep, there he is. Don't shoot him. There. Too many at the top okay, of the screen. Okay, so you can get him back. Too many. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Only if you let them. I play double ships whenever possible. Oh, yeah. For me, me too, as well. Always. Don't shoot him again. Not intentionally. <laughs> Refusing to come down. I know. There I'm we like, go. come on, man. You have to force him by making him the last thing on the screen. <sighs> well, clearing out the place. Shit, makes this dodgy. Yes. <laughs> Oop, <sighs> almost, almost. Yay! Oh, thank Your captured ship will return. Okay, so that's good. That's really good to know. Just in time. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good after practice these challenging stages. Luckily, there is a practice, I know. But, but you only get one ship to practice with. Still, it's... So it's not really it, a great it's good practice. For, it's good for practicing positioning. It is. Hey, good job. Yeah, the last one. Galaga tabletop modern tabletop. There's no such thing as that. Really good, this one. I mean it's it's like oh. an emulation of the arcade game. Oh you lost your second. I'm <laughs> doing terrible strategy wise in this one. Oh no. I also didn't hit the third scorpion, which was uh, or a Galaxian, Galaxian. Galax, a Galaxian. If it's the wide ship. Yeah. Yeah. So the Galaxian, the scorpions. No, scorpions are scorpions. I, I don't know what their real names are. We're working on refining the challenging mode. Uh, from what I gathered, the standard mode is the arcade mode. 
Like, this seems to be comparable to the arcade. Yeah, it seems yeah. pretty similar. And then the challenging mode is, is just something for people who want something. A little bit more. Galaga enemy names. That's what I want. Oh my god. They are very strange. Are they? <laughs> I've never read these before, apparently. Um, the one that looks like, um, one looks, looks like a, these are crazy, what? Okay. Minion bugs? Galaga red bugs? What the hell? <coughs> this is probably because there's so many different Galaga games. Here, maybe you can figure out what... Oh, you have to put your name in. No, I don't think so. Probably I don't not, think I actually. Did. No. No. Because we already bumped out the low scores yeah. now. <laughs> well, no, I was like in fourth, but I did not play that well. Whoa. What? Yeah, I know. Oh, it's just different... Uh... It's different games, so there's different games. Too many. It's gonna mean multiple names for these two. I think so. That's yeah. what confused me. It's like, what? Is, what? I was trying to look the up red, the red. So the red, white, and blue one they have is Goey, Goey, G O E I, Goey, and English um, names too. Zayko for the the yellow, red, and blue winged bumblebee. Or space bug is, is the other thing. Space bug. Yeah. And then Galagas are the are those guys. Yes. Yeah. So red Galagas and blue Galagas. Boss Galaga. Boss Galaga. Know. Multiple names. Yeah. You're looking up at the Galaga wiki. Yeah. Because it's, it's it's a, it's mix, mixing all the Galaga versions together. Yeah. And also, who came up with these names? The developers, random people... Yeah, maybe there's no names when, yeah, they first, when the know. game first came out. And uh, or, or there might have been. I mean, you kind of want the original... Um, developer names. Or, or the, the... I was going to say the manuals. Like, the, like oh, They may yeah. have been defined in the manuals of, of the uh, They would have been the, the arcade games. manuals. Yeah. Or, or the, the, the I don't the, know. And the homes, they would have renamed and the home, them exactly. for each one differently. The possibly. home manuals might have had names for them. Ah! That one is so hard every time because you have to shoot those twice. That's the one I always miss. Good job. Get better All at the challenging one. stage. Yeah, you are. It's that one. You are. screwed myself. I don't know. Oh, he came back down. What? Oh, he came around. You Somewhere. get points for killing yourself if you crash into things. Why not? Why not? Oh, I don't think he's going to capture me. He is not. I shot they too many. Do it, they usually do it fairly early in the, in the round. Like, right away. I, I shot one before it yeah. came down, so there was no second Galaga, oh, I see there was what only you one mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. There. G James needs to start shooting in challenging stage before they appear. Oh, Where they will I was be. trying to do, but you have to get timing. Yeah, it is timing. You have to know the timing, because you only get two kind of shots, 
and if you waste those two shots, you have to wait for the next sec first shot to come back. Uh, uh, in the corner. But yeah, you do have to kind of start start your challenging stage early. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. I just killed him. No, he he, he came down. Does he, he have to go to the bottom of the screen? Yeah. I think you have to have two. On alive? the screen? No, I've seen it where you I've seen it. I've 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 seen one drop and then you shoot it and then the next one comes down, but yeah, it doesn't look like he's gonna stop. He usually does it almost immediately. Yeah, right away. Yeah. There's few that can be cleared with a single shoot. Of the challenging modes? I'm sure there are. I mean it's all the timing, but uh, it is. you have to be pretty perfect in your timing to do that. More practice required. So there's one move when you are dodging the bullets, and then there's a slight other move after they come down to attack you. Get your scorpions, get them, get ah. One more, one more! Aww, oh, oh, too late. Close. Does that last too long? I swear it just, like, continues just a touch too long. Well, I, don't, I don't feel that, but... Yeah. I would say they feel playing them. They feel very, very equivalent to each other, which is amazing. Yeah. Is amazing. The, the movement and everything. everything. Like the only thing that feels different is the length of the screen, because it's it's yeah. more of a square screen instead of that long that but long arcade play. But once you start playing it for a little, you bit, don't notice like, it. No, it's totally fine. Yeah. Ah. So hard. Yep. He's on turbo. <laughs> I hate that you accidentally hit it sometimes. Ah, oh, missed it. Because you move the same speed as the as the bugs. Space bugs. Space bugs. So if you are just behind it, you'll never catch up to it moving across. dive bombing, um, they aim. So if you move just as they are dive bombing you, like just shift over just a little bit, you'll be fine. And that's it. So where do you think the concept of space bugs originated? I mean, old sci-fi old oh. sci-fi films obviously you know, the concept of alien. oversized alien bugs and things like oh, that right. attacking the Earth. That goes Very way, way popular. back. Anything that people are scared of, just make them big. Yeah. And attack the humans. But, I mean, I was thinking, too, uh, well, the book and movie that involved, uh, shoot. What is the movie I'm thinking of, the book I'm thinking of? The Space Bugs. The aliens? No, 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 no. <laughs> The one that they made the movie that was very tongue in, tongue in cheek. Um, I don't want to say Battlestar Galactica. I don't know why that name is in my head. Me? <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's a comedy. Yeah. Well, oh, well then, the, the uh, movie they made. Yeah. Spaceballs. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> You're killing it's a comedy me. in space. A sci-fi. Uh, no, no, but it's 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 a sci-fi, but it's got a comedic kind of Ooh. element to it. Recent Next one. year I want Gyrus with Pitfall 2 sound. <laughs> Gyrus. The actual rich somebody brought that up in the a Facebook group. Um, that they wanted Gyrus remade. Gyrus, the original's really, really good. Especially the music. I don't know if it really needs a remake. I mean you could always make it a little bit better, but the, um let's play both at the same time. Okay. Split the screen. Um, do you want to play this one? Okay. I don't care. I'm I'm good either way. You're you're closer to that screen, which might make it easier for you to play the arcade. Yeah. 
Starship Troopers. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking of. Because that was originally a book. Yes. I never read the book, so I, I cannot claim to have any expertise on that book at all. But um, just the idea of huge bug aliens flying through space, you know? Yeah. Like I said, the old the old 50s films always had, like, giant-sized bugs on Earth, but I think that was usually due to, you know, nuclear war or um, mutation or that kind of thing. But, but that's not a theme you see in modern sci-fi all, all that much now. Uh, the whole concept bugs. of large <laughs> bugs in space, you know, yeah. that, the aliens being these massive no, bugs. No. Now where should I put the chat? You're trying to figure out how to show it all on one screen? Yeah, and it's pretty full. Oh, well, it looks pretty uh, good. Um, but there's no chat, so I'm going to bring... That's the live screen there? ...the chat over top. Yeah. Over top of... Mine? No. Yours. Mine. I don't know where you're going to... I'm going to put it there, maybe. Yeah. That's probably the best. Just I'm hide it for the time being, if you want. No, because then it won't be recorded. <laughs> What people will say. Right. That's pretty good. How's that? Does that look good, everyone? And then I'll get rid of the zero page logo. Oh, it's not interfering too much. Okay, I think we're pretty good. I'll move that over as far as it can go. Okay. For you, it's all yep. playing. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll try and balance the sound so we're not too interfering with each other. Or just play one. Can you play one and mute the other? Yes, I can. So I'll keep yours. Sure. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Are we Are we gonna start and sync? <laughs> uh, one, two, three. <laughs> maybe. We. Ready? Well, I won't be able to hear anything. Okay. Yeah. One, one two, two, three. three go. Oh. <sighs> that was not successful. <laughs> that didn't quite work. So Sorry I'm playing the arcade, and Tanya's playing the 2600 version, and you are hearing the 2600, the 2600 version. We could restart it. No, it's fine. Anybody can uh, wants to point out any differences. And especially in terms of speed. Speed of movement. And uh, I, I can also check check later. Um, because I can't see it and play at the same time. Oh, just got captured at the same time. Oh, you just got captured. I just got captured. I already got my double guy. Uh, let's hope I get there too. Yes! <sighs> so much Galaga! <laughs> says Nathan Strong. <laughs> so much. and right in the arcade. Does it? Yeah, it feels sluggish compared to the 26 I don't know. Yeah. And that may just be because of the... Ooh, oh my god, that was close. Um, maybe because of the screen size only? Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Both at once. Terrible. Terrible. Slightly 
shift it over, but I'm not thinking I was safe. Well, yeah, the, What's going on? the cues don't, yeah, you don't, like, you don't have that did cue. Did I enter my name? I can't, <laughs> can't hear, it's playing some music, what is happening? The bullets in the arcade are faster for traversing the screen vertically. You think like so? My, like the player bullets? Yes, they are much faster. So that's something that could be changed, possibly. It just feels more responsive because it's faster. Oh, faster. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, Rita Foot's on top of the scores. He's like, J, Arcade, Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, ha, 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 ha. Terrible. He's <laughs> doing very well in the beginning there. Like, mm. look at the, the speed of the bullets mm -hmm. going up. Like, it's... Well, in theory, you have further to travel, so like, it should go a little faster. Uh, you should cover mm. more space with them, I but, think. But I mean, uh, from the bottom to the top. Yeah. It takes, not, not the actual speed, not the velocity, but the amount of time the bullet is on the screen. It should be equivalent from the bottom to the top of the screen in the arcade as the 2600 version. I press... It's like one... about one second it's on the screen. Oh no! That was inten unintentional. <laughs> Dying? <laughs> uh, no, I killed one of the... one of the Galagas at the top. Oh, I didn't no. mean to. I meant to have at least two on the screen. Don't know if he'll, if he'll even attempt to. Oh, he did! Ah! Oh, he ah! Did. He did. ah! <laughs> oh no! Such bad luck. Oh. Oh man. And there's a car cheering us on outside. Go, go, he's saying, go. <laughs> You can do it! You can do it! Oh, okay, that's enough cheering from the car. <laughs> oh my god! Don't start in the corner! Oh god. Terrible round. This round's been terrible. <laughs> yep. I think I'm very distracted by you playing. So I'm doing terrible too. Oh, why am I bothering? Oh my shit. This is useless. Very, very poor. doing terrible oh nathan strom has to go bye nathan bye nathan thanks for hanging out i'm gonna play one more of this then i'm gonna go back to the 2600 sure, sure. or we could switch and um yeah we could. you can you can see how you feel because i played a number arcade. of games now in a row yeah I just feel the bullets are really making oh, a difference. So much for that. Okay, I'm dead. Yes. I'll let you finish your game. Okay. Well, I just started, so that's fine. <laughs> Mine was terrible. <laughs> that round. Are we going to switch? I think we should switch positions. Oh, but if our you're names okay will be wrong. That, yeah, that's fine. That's all right. I think they'll figure it out. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should change the, the, change the graphics. <laughs>
Can I have some water, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch, switch liquids with you. Mm. Here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you did bad. Mm. 1740. It was awful. Yeah. Okay, so now I am on the 2600, and Tanya's playing the, the arcade version of it. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. Top button. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a touch slower, the bullets. So I think they could be sped up just a little bit. How do I restart? You, you die. Oh, okay. There are buttons, but on the keyboard, but I haven't memorized them. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> and afterwards, I will do some uh, frame timing exp um, calculations on how many frames the bullets take to go from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. From the video footage? Yeah, from the video footage. Because that will... Uh... Yeah, yeah. A thousand points for killing myself. That is wonderful. I love it. Yep, perfect. That's what I wanted. Who wants double shooting? I'd rather have a thousand points. Uh, Zaz Kag says, I can't wait to get this so I can put a killer score on it. <laughs> yeah, I never said I was the best Galaga player in the world. I just said I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fun game. It is really fun, even if you're not great at it. And I'm like, I'm not great. <laughs> I've definitely not been uh, <coughs> demonstrating anything uh, out of the ordinary, that's for sure. definitely get a lot more practice. So I don't think I'll be getting high scores on uh, highscore.com. Although I could put one right now, because... Oh, actually, Nathan Strum will just destroy me on that. <laughs> you could put one up and beat me. I'll be the second best in the world for until this is released. How about that? Unless John Champ... John Champ oh. oh my god! And guaranteed third. Because John Shampoo can play one as well. Actually, you got some pretty high scores. You got good scores too. Me? <laughs> does it recreate the bug not being able to shoot at you? No, it does not. I've not tested it, but I know for sure John said it's not in here. And I think you would have to actually program that bug. <laughs> Yeah, I can just see the bullets are so much faster. I mean, I, the I find the I find the uh, enemies faster too. I just died. Just a little bit um, faster. I yeah. find them faster. Yeah, I, I find them move in a little bit faster. I don't know why, but it could just be the length of the screen too, because they're dive bombing faster. I don't know. But they do need, do need to move it, further. It very well. This might be perception because of the size of the screen. Yeah. It may not actually be a thing, I would say. I've played this much Galaga. <laughs> not like, in a row. <laughs> not in a row. I, I never... I was never the arc an arcade rock dweller, so most of my games were on systems, and I don't think I ever had Galaga, so... You had an NES. And there's a, oh my god. The decent version of Galaga on NES. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't have it. I didn't have it. I suppose says, haven't seen any 2600 bugs. No, I haven't it's seen bugs. It's pretty very, very solid. Like, there's no weirdness, no jumping around, no losing lives. No. Um, it's mostly going to be refining in gameplay. And I think an expert would have to weigh in on the movements, like from level to level. Oh, I'm kind of stuck here. 
like level to level uh, patterns, but I think he's pretty much already got that. No, I was trying to shoot him. Like the way they come in, where they come in, um, that one could be easily analyzed by footage. And I'm sure he already perfected that with uh, Galagon when he first made this game. Like a 97 for DOS. Obviously not going to uh, get to Nathan Strum's challenging 311,000. 311, <laughs> so I can throw that idea out the window. So I can try and concentrate on doing my best. Get that guy. Oh, got him. There we go. the bullets. I think I should be looking at the bullets more. So I'm kind of just looking up at the top, and that is not doing me really, really good. So I'm looking where I'm trying to shoot, and there is a, there is definitely a, an element of, there's a huge element of dodging the bullets. Oh my god. That's what I'm not doing. But that's, that's when you kind of screw up, is, is when you're focusing too much on one one area of the screen or the other. Yeah. Oh, Usually my eyes are at the top of the screen. And that is not a good spot for them to be. Uh, I don't... I guess it could be. It'd be quite scaled down. That'd be super sweet. I don't see why it couldn't be done. Uh, I'd have to look at it again. I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, and see if... I do. I have it on the Turbo Graphics. It is a good, good version. By both. I have the North American version of it. Japanese version. Galaga 90 in the US. Galaga 88 here. Or Galaga 99 in the US and Galaga 88 in glance in it between it's levels. It's very hard to do when you're playing Galaga. Very hard, so it's hard to respond to anything. I just like the fireworks explosions, Thunkus says in Galaga 88. Yeah, so lots of nice visuals. And the music. The music's so good in Galaga 88. And I think people have demonstrated that I should never be at that bottom loop just too dangerous that the bullets are like, come out in one second. That, that stays on too long. You did? Yeah. You think so? Fighter captured where it just sits there and says fighter captured, but 
but no, it counts. See, this, this pauses too. I'm right at that point. There's oh, a yeah. pause. Yeah, there's definitely a pause, but yeah. how long is that pause? It just feels long on here. I don't know. But I, I can measure that one out too. Oh. Better at the second challenge. 38? 37. It's a dramatic pause. The longer the pause, the more dramatic, Kev says. It's true. It is dramatic. It's true. <laughs> If you're playing the game without any prior knowledge of what what happens in the game, your fighter being captured, be, people are like, oh my god, what the, what is happening in this game? I'm captured, how do I get myself back? Uh, don't get many points for shooting the Galagas, <coughs> or shooting anything while it's standing still. So maybe I should not be doing that. Because you get quite a bit more points when they're... Oh. Damn it! Ah! Terrible! But it, I thought, okay, I'm doing okay now. Yeah, I can do it. And that crap comes on. Get captured again, and then I have no more lives left. And now I can't get captured. Now it's just sad. Now it's just sad. Wait, watch out for those surplus enemies. Surplus enemies. <laughs> They're all surplus. Surplus. <laughs> stage. Okay. No shooting. It's level 10, right? Yeah, level 10. Kind of starts things over again. Almost had an extra life. 40. Don't know that challenge stage at all. Thirty thousand. Yeah, that's my old high school. No. Ah. Uh. Oh, seventy-three. That was very good. Yeah, I screwed up a whole bunch of times just in a row there. But you still got a really good score. Yeah, it's probably my best score, but it just feels bad. <laughs> okay, we can turn off the arcade one okay. now, I think. Do you want to switch over yep. so you can do that? Oh, it's not my best. Oh, 77. Interesting. See, now the names are appropriately... Mm. Oh, back to normal? <laughs> back to yeah. normal. Want me to go again on this one? Mm -hmm. or you... If you want to, go ahead, yep. My my gameplay has been going up down, so... <laughs> oh no, worse and worse? <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's a little hard um, on that screen, too. But... Oh, it's tiny, yeah. Yeah.
Missed it by 4K, I did. Missed my high score by 4K. I want to try at least get 100. 100? Yeah. Okay. I think that's something decent to aim for. I think I can do it. I just... I'm screwing up a little bit. The wrong times. This is one of those rare games that does make you forget you're playing a 2600. Like, oh my seriously. goodness! Yeah. You think you're playing the arcade after? Like, oh yeah. A it, minute. It feels exactly the same. Yep. Like we've been playing the arcade and the 2600 back side by and forth, side. And you, it doesn't matter. They're the same game. Yep. Like it, you don't notice at all. Yeah, it's great. Because usually, like back in the 80s, when you got a game on the 2600 that was an arcade port, you'd be like, you'd have oh, to forgive you, it a bit. Well, yeah, you felt a little disappointed because it was like, never uh, exactly as good as like, the arcade oh, it's games. It's fine. It's true, it's true. But it's not. Oh, bastard. Expected to play more slowly, clunky, yeah. Yeah. And not as good graphics. They change the graphics or the maze. Like on Pac-Man, they yeah. just change it so that it kind of fit a bit better on the on the wide instead of the, the tall. And just is never right. I should be waiting for these all to start moving and pick them off one by one because you get more if, if they're moving. Yeah, moving? you get 400 instead of 150. Oh, really? But it's more dangerous too. Yeah, that's true. But it's like four times, like three times the points. I mean, technically, you should get them all while they come in because you get the most points. The danger is the shooting, really. Because oh. once they start shooting and they are, they're all coming down at once. Yeah. It, it it's. You, you, you Actually, lose it's your second ship, you know. Actually, I think it's only the Galagas that you all get the bonus for, so all the rest you can pick off. So pick off and let the Galagas tumble down. Okay. A lot of points if they're in their formation. With the two. Yeah. yeah. Most, most points with the two. You get 1,600 points. Same problem with games today. Mm. Uh, Kev was just saying some games are obviously rushed too, to get out. Oh yeah. And are. then and that's the same problem with some games today, which is true. Some some great titles come out and there's so many bugs in them. Yeah. yeah. Super annoying. Look at the Starfield. Oh, it stopped moving. <laughs> I found a bug! I found a bug! You know why? Because I shot my ship. Yeah. As I was dying. As I died, my last shot went up and, and hit and got my ship. Um, but it found a bug. Is it, is it usually? Yeah, it's moving. Moving. It's usually always oh. moving. Oh, no. Now it'll reset. And it'll start moving again. Oh, there we go. Yay, I found a bug! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, boo! I mean, no, it's good to find them. Yeah. But it's a very rare instance that that happened, because I, I rescued my ship at the moment I died. And for some reason, the, the, the play field wasn't scrolling when I was dying. When you Oh, and it stayed that way. Yeah, and it stayed that way. Now it's reset. Oh Yay. no! Uh, get those points. That's always for the challenge stage. Good job. Uh, 
<laughs> the one. Oh. The last little bit of sweet. Let me come down the left. You have to be pretty much hitting them before they arrive. Yeah, get your yeah. bullets up there. If you... Can you read that? If you die just as you free your captured ship, the stars stop scrolling in the background. Yeah. Is that normal for Galia? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Is that an arcade thing, too? I doubt it. It, it looks like... It seems like it's like a, a weird thing. Oh my god. What a terrible score. Because I died a bunch in a row. <laughs> at me like this. <laughs> Guess we'll have to wait for version 1.1. 1. 1. Hey, it's all me. <laughs> oh, your turn. One more? Are you still trying to go for your 100,000? I would like to. I'll go one more. One more sport. One more uh, try. One more try? But I found a bug and that's what I really wanted to do. Let's find something. Help John out. record it takes four and a half hours to get the world record which is not too bad in terms of other old arcade games for getting world records some of them are like days to try and get a world record so four, oh, uh, yeah. four and a half hours is not too bad yeah now it is a fast game even for world record holders yeah and you stop getting lives at a million so, you can serve your lives. <laughs> job. Good job. Oof. Good job. Let's read some information about Gallery. Japanese arcade game developed and published by Namco Japan in Midway, North America. It is the oh, sequel man. to Galaxian. Uh, the, Gal the game called Galaxian puts the player in control of a spacecraft which is situated at the bottom of the screen, with enemy aliens arriving in formation at the beginning of a stage, either trying to destroy, collide with, or capture the spaceship, with the player progressing each time alien forces are vanquished. Released in September 81 in Japan and December 81 in North America. Genre is a fiction. Uh, Galga is one of the most commercially successful games from the golden age of arcade video games. Uh, the arcade version has been ported to many consoles and now one more. 2600. And it has several sequels. In 2011, the game celebrated its 30th anniversary with the release of Galaga 30th Collection for the iOS. Galaga introduces new features from its predecessors. Where's the two-player simultaneous game version? Not yet. So, they'll probably do another uh, uh, show update. Oh, Aww, just... Is. Yeah, but I got my scorpions. Yeah. Ah! Oh, no. <sighs> so, no, he hasn't programmed the two-player simultaneous yet. I will definitely be doing an update when that happens. Because that's a big... That, like... Oh, oh my god! My god. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was trying to wait for him to do that. Do they do it again? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, maybe. Does it, just done it twice, so just leave it. Yeah, you just don't get hit by it. Here it comes. Yep, he really wants to capture you. Excuse <laughs> <coughs> me. Boss Galaga. 
that's what that guy's called. And he's blue? Um, the one who captures you is the boss. Whichever one it happens to turn out to be. <clears throat> and you form a dual fighter, it's called. Offering double firepower with a disadvantage of twice as large of a target. <clears throat> if the player destroys the captor while still in formation, the captured fighter will not be rescued. Will instead fly away after a diving run to appear in the next stage as a satellite for another boss galaga where it can be again rescued. A very small section in the middle of the dual fighter is immune to enemy fire. Ooh, I don't think it is in this version because they're very squished together in this one. Technically, there should be one pixel between them. Um, I wonder if there is room for that, or if the guy is eight pixels wide. Let's see if I can figure that what out. What is the sword? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, your shots are going right through them. I know. One, two, Here we go. three, five, seven. He could put a space in between the two. Um, so that, I don't know if that would visually, well, Nathan's gone. Um, he would be the perfect person to answer that one. Oh, oh, I knew it. I You're knew that playing. was going to... Ah! Oh. Well, it was a better high score than my last one, yep. I think. So. 33. Good. One more for you. Yeah, one more for me. All right. And I think on the vacation, what I'm going to bring is <laughs> yeah. uh, either the Game Boy... Okay. A Game Boy or the oh. 3DS. Okay. With Galaga. With the Galaga. Okay. <laughs> so you can practice. So I can practice in Las Vegas and in New York. Nice. Okay. No deaths. Actually, can you turn out the overhead light? It's going to give us a very disgusting look on our face. Not really. This, this orange look. Oh, that, that does change quite a bit. Yeah. My perception, anyway. I don't know if it looks that good. I am very excited for the finale of Game of Thrones tonight. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah, we're going to a theater to watch it. Yes. On the big screen. I have never seen an episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> so uh, I have no idea what's going uh, on. You're going to hate it. <laughs> with the 500 lead actors that yeah. are in the, in the show. Uh, I'm like, what's that? Okay. Who's that? Yeah. But I won't ask any questions. No, you can ask it's pointless. questions. Just ask them quietly. Don't piss off the people around us. <laughs> Who's that? Why are they mad at each other? Yeah. Why did he kill her? Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Yay. No. Um It'll still be it'll be a lot of fun. There's something about aw. No, that's there's some, there's something, the first level. <laughs> there's something about uh just being with a big group of people watching something. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cheering and oh, yeah. sadness. And, oh, when somebody dies. And probably like. disappointment because so far this season has not been very good. There's so going to be boos. Boo! Yeah, Why did probably. you do that? Suck. That yeah. line was bad. Yeah. You should feel bad. It'll be fine. <laughs> Technically, I should shoot these guys after they start leaving. But I want my guy back first. Is he going to come down first? I don't know. Yeah. Well, you could have shot the, the, huh? the green ones once. Oh, that's true. I think that's the key. Oh, at least you got it back. But... <sighs> Die. So much content this week, you're spoiling us. I, I know, know, there was just so much that and was there's happening. Gonna be a, there's going to be a big sort of break because of all the travel we're doing. <laughs> so so it's, kind of, and I, and it's nice to be able to give that much content Ooh. in a row. You know? So that you do feel like you've got a bunch before you leave. Sorry. I was going to say, if anyone knows any really cool arcades in the New York area, that would be a really fun place to go. I bet there are lots, yeah. 
we're gonna go to the pinball museum, museum in, Las, in Vegas, Las Vegas, which I've heard is very, very good. Yep. And we've been to a lot of game conventions and specifically pinball conventions as well. There's, well, yeah, when they come so, up locally, like yeah, nearby. It was a really good yeah. one in Vancouver. I was It was surprised. really good, yeah. It was pretty big. We only went to that, like, last year for the yeah. first time, and I'm like, what? How come we don't know about this before? Yeah. Why are we so... Why are we so, uh... We're this. all paying attention. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh. Give me my... Oh, oh my no, god! you shot him. This is not going to be a high score. No, anymore. that's okay. Because I'm at 10,000. I've lost two lives. Yeah. Or... Two. Two. Terrible. Happens. Sad and pathetic. Aww. Barcade New York. Thank you. Thank you. I looked in Brooklyn for a week. It was the only fun thing I did uh, there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> only a week, eh? <laughs> it's a pretty short stay for living there. Yeah. That sounds like more like visiting or on vacation. Yeah. A week? You move all your, like literally move all of your stuff there? Because that's moving. Yeah. <sighs> oh. oh. I can still get to... Still get a double shot if I try really hard and not be terrible. I don't think I'm gonna get that Retron 77 from, <laughs> from Nathan. Does it have to be you? Can we can we call in a ring? <laughs> <laughs> Someone who's really good Phone at Galaga? Up. Phone, up Phone a friend? No, I'm not allowed to give this to anyone. This this build of the game. <laughs> no, I mean invite them over for the oh, for the twenty true. well twelve hour. Uh, I know. The 12 hour game night. No, that's uh, what I need it for. That's what I need. Oh, the, you need. Oh, that's true. I have to get it before the 12 hour. Yeah. See who you know who's good at game. Maybe Corey. Corey? Yeah, I don't know. Does he do, do a, a lot of the classic gaming or? Yeah, he does. He does. He does play a lot of the classic gaming. So, I don't know about Galaga. Oh! I'm going to have one more. That was. <laughs> really bad. Redo, redo. And, and I apologize. <laughs> I did move all my stuff. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. One week. It of course me... it all fit in a Ford Tempo. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. That makes more sense now. It's like student moving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you move out of your parents' house, it's like, you don't really have a lot. Well, when I was in university, I think every year I moved somewhere. I lived somewhere different. It was either in residence or whatever. And like, I think I had two two full Rubbermaid containers. Everything fit in, it, like the big gigantic bins. I just oh, stuffed everything in those bins. That's really? how I moved. Yeah, and it worked pretty well actually. Easy, they're easy to carry, and uh, I didn't have any furniture. So sometimes. Oh yeah, furniture. Furniture is what kills you, really. I mean, I had a bed and I had a desk. I and didn't. I had a, yeah. I had a computer and. A a bunch of comics. And... A bunch of comics. They count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I packed. I, packed, I definitely traveled. Moved. I don't know. It's just we've been playing for two hours. You're you're hitting yeah. the end of your rope. I think. In a Ford Tempo. <laughs> yeah. The world record is. Uh... Oh, did I screw myself? No. Uh, yeah, he, he would have he would have done it already, I think. Because he was the first one down. Oh, was he? Yeah. It has to be the second one. It has to be the second guy down. Or, or there has, has to be at least, at least two on the screen. Okay. I'll make the best of it. It's only one loss. I can still get double shots. Down. 
There we go. Based on website photos, they have Galaga. Oh, oh, excellent. I'll put in more more uh, practice there because it it totally translates. Like Galaga. Uh, oh, in different. When yeah. You're, when you're playing the, the skill arcade, set is the same. Yeah, yeah the skill set is. Exactly I mean, the same. but as far as memorizing the patterns, if yep. the patterns are patterns slightly are the different, same. then then you're then it'll be a bit off. But if the patterns yeah. are the same, then you're good. He's going for perfect. Perfect patterns. So yeah. I think it'll be just fine. It's more a matter of where they start. If that makes sense. Well, yeah. If you're going pixel perfect uh, position. That that first one is really hard. You have to you have to shoot it before it comes out. Almost. Do you know what I mean? Pretty much. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I'm distracted. Should be able to do it no matter what. I think getting double ships only levels before the challenging is better for your score. But it's well, so much harder to play that way, though. I think I think the idea is you have the double ship, but because you're such a big target, it's easier to dodge bullets when you when you only have one. So I can see the advantage and disadvantage, and then yeah. the challenge modes for sure. Oh, you have to. It's a massive uh, advantage, but um, the regular modes, yeah, you're dodging things. I find it very hard to keep my double ship. I'm sure the oh, experts can keep it for the entirety of their game, oh, but, yeah. but yeah, I find that very hard. Nice. I wonder if Nathan maximized his score by uh, either playing a long time or making sure he shot things while they're in flight. Maybe. Well, you have to practice that. You have to go for the in-flight shooting versus... Thing is, if you if there's too much on the screen, then it is incredibly challenging to, to dodge. So you kind of have to get rid of some of it. Get rid of the strategy. bugs, that's true. Just get, get rid the of bugs. the lower rows. And just eliminate as many as, as you can as they come in. Yeah. Oh my god. That was bad. What was it? I put myself in the corner. Oh. When they were coming out. Watch this world world record player now. <laughs> See the strategy. It he makes it look so. Oh, easy. I bet he does. <laughs> like you'd be like, oh, I can play this. Yeah. I can kick ass in this game. No, no. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you have to get those guys. They know them. Because they double up. Yeah, and then they, they just, just go straight back. Much, they yeah. just go straight back. That uh, reverb in that music is so good. It is so good. Such a good job. The cat is doing good. <laughs> Can't remember, Sir Cat? Sir Cat Legs? Sir Cat Legs. That's a funny name. That's great. Cats in video gaming are definitely <laughs> they go together. Cats and computers. Cats and the internet. Cats, cats are, with everything. Cats are very supportive of computer gaming. <laughs> yeah, they like a warm lap. Yeah. Oh, what? dive bombing. That's where you're most exposed is when they're dive bombing in your double yeah. ship. Yeah. Make sure you, like it said in the, the hints, make sure you're moving enough out of the way. Because you move as fast as them, so if you haven't already started moving before they're on top of you, you're dead. That's that's what happens. Because they move at the same speed as you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I want to do this. <laughs> like, kill everything! No, I only have one ship right now. You don't have to have two ships, though. Surplus enemies! <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Music's perfect music sounds better. The perfect music? It's pretty. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to just saying at the challenging stage you just need to know where to position your stip and, and start shooting before they come down. It's the only way to get them all. Yeah. 
Oh! <laughs> painful, painful. <sighs> Ten is back to normal. They don't shoot today. No. Go after it's level one over again. Don't have to be worried. Die bombing now it's going no back to hard. Please, please, give me two ships again. <laughs> I need it, I'm almost, almost at 70. And hold down the button. No, I'm not holding down the button. That's not how the arcade works. <laughs> it's cheaty. Good job. Oh, and I got super bonus. Did you? Yep, because I shot the Galaga. Got a nice 1600. Oh, you got an extra! Yay, 70,000! Don't die! Don't die! <laughs> don't die! Don't get hit! That's about, uh, that's about it. Uh, that's yeah, hard. You do need to know exactly where they come in. Oh, that one is so hard. Yeah. They're so spread out. I'm sure, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a specific position, start here, move here. Yep, shoot at this time. Yeah. Those are hard, they double up. Yeah. Yeah, just in time for the challenging stage. Dodging the dive bombers. He's turning. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. One more. Oh, well, you got him. You got you got the bonus. What cost? Yeah, but you got a high score. <laughs> He's gonna do it. I don't know. Let's do it. Yeah, I think so. There you go. <laughs> it is. Oh, surplus enemies! That they don't come back. That's what you're oh, talking about. Oh, I see. They dive bomb you, but they don't settle so at the top. They're kind of bonus, bonus. Like if you shoot them. Oh, yeah. If you shoot yeah, them, they you leave. get more points. I but if you see. Don't shoot them, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Dead. Oh, get out of that corner. The well, problem is an, an extra life is far, far, far away. I just got one. I don't have any extras. I'm just by myself, with my little pea shooter. Trying to survive. seem so fast. They are fast. <laughs> Very fast now. Yeah. Position and hold down button. Nope. The arcade does not have the hold down button. It does not have rapid fire. <laughs> the purist in him says no. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Oh, so close. 91. 91. I'm okay with that. 91 is good. I'm okay with very, that. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. What is it? 600 points in this on your shirt? 600. <laughs> yeah, it just barely starts the game. And he leaves everything to come up and that little guy is... Yeah, the boss Galligan. Yeah. Well, you... Yay, well, the whole board 14. is you. <laughs> it's probably the best I've done so far, so it's a good one to stop on. Yeah. Sir Catleg says nice score. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's like a third of my way <laughs> to Nathan's score. We'll see, we'll less, see. Le just less than a third. <laughs> oh, there's the score. 50, 80... And then, then it depends. You get 1600. 800 for one, 400 for by itself. 150 for. On its own. Just not moving on its own. Mm. So that's not bad. 91, 920. And I found a bug, I think. Unless the arcade does that, which I doubt it. But that oh, would be the, so the hard to replicate. Of the yeah, I wouldn't be able it's to very do specific. It. You probably could, yeah. but it's very specific. 
I would have to die yeah. and rescue my guy at the same time. Yeah. Too hard. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah. It's too hard. Mm. There we go. Mute. Mute. Oh, so thank you for joining us today mm -hmm. on a zero page homebrew. Can I pre-order a cart? No. No, no pre-orders are ready yet. <laughs> um, they may be ready for Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Is that what they're thinking? Or, or are you just throwing that out there? I threw it out to Al. Uh, yeah. And I threw it out to John. Yeah. So they're not saying and that. Both, You're hoping that it'll be out for Portland. And they're both like, <laughs> yeah. They're both like, yeah. Maybe. That's very maybe. possible. Because yeah. it's almost done. Like, look at yeah. it. Yeah. But they have to make the cards, too. And that, oh. that, I'm sure, is not a... Um, well, the design is actually the big thing. Is it? Actually, putting it on the cart is nothing. He just goes, flash, it's done. Yeah, I guess so. Um, is it Because it, they're all reprogrammable, the cartridges yeah. they use. Mm. Um, so it's just like, boom, they do one-offs oh, okay. immediately. Okay. It's more about cool. getting the boxes ordered and the artwork done. Oh, okay. That's, that's the thing yeah. that costs the money. Yeah. Hoping Albert goes to HAAG this year. I'm hoping not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't go to Houston. I hope he goes to Portland. <laughs> Does he not usually see. go to both? Or? Uh, no, he's been going to Portland since we've been going. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is funny because he lives in Texas. Yeah, Houston would be closer. You would. Houston's think. way closer. Portland's way bigger. The well, the, Portland the retro is quite, expo quite is big. bigger. Yeah. Um, Albert ran out of Melly boards recently. Oh, he's got to get some ordered. Uh oh. Yep, because um, mm -hmm. there's some big games coming up. Mm -hmm. It's Amoeba Jump, it's Wizard of War, nice. Galaga. Wizard of War is really It's going to be really a lot of orders awesome for yeah. all of those yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. And Wizard of War is going to be also um, using the Quadtari. Okay. Because it has voices. So is anyone considering putting this technology into a new, a new machine? Well, people have always said, uh, once somebody posted recently on a Facebook a group that we should have a fundraiser for Al to buy the Atari name. Oh, geez, that <laughs> and, would be a lot and, of money, though. And make John Shampo the head of programming <laughs> at Atari, <laughs> at the new Atari. Yeah. And and we would, and, and the, I can't remember who said it, and make a 16-bit version yeah. that's backwards compatible to the 2600 and 7800 that has a cartridge slot. Yeah. And also be able to make new 16-bit games. There sounds like a lot of steps involved in that process. <laughs> the most expensive, the most, the hardest one being buying Atari. Well, yeah. Because they make a lot of money a year, uh, per well, year off selling their, garbage. Off their, yeah, but off, off the brand, really. They make so much off that brand. Yeah. Selling pretty much trash. Yeah. Like well, constant trash. Yeah. But it's, it's just, just branding, nothing yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. That nobody's really happy with on, yeah. a, on a significant level. Yeah. Um, yeah. They make, they make, they make t-shirts and, yeah. and they put yeah. their, they lend their games out to, you know, multi gaming joysticks yeah. and things that plug into your TV and they're yeah. all, they're not super great. Yeah. Nobody's, nobody's super happy with them. Yeah. Um, help fund. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, that would be way too much money. It would be millions and millions yeah, of dollars. I don't know what Atari's worth right now. Uh, I think it's a public company, so yeah. it could be looked up. Yeah. How much would it cost to buy all the shares of Atari? Anybody out there know that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it would be it would be so much money that it's it's not. Yeah. He's, he's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah. Like what what big advantage would there be um, for him owning it, other than it being super cool? Yeah. Funding isn't the problem, really. It's the making of the hardware. Getting everything you want Doing, in it. Manufacturing hardware is really expensive, yeah. too. Yeah, Like, making boards and molds. Yeah. It's so expensive to make a mold. Um, so that that's a lot, too. The whole venture is ridiculous, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not worth it. It would be amazing. It would be all our dreams come true. Yeah. That Atari would be reborn yeah. under Atari age. Yeah. But um, unless one of us is a philanthropist... Super wow. rich guy. Yeah. Maybe Elon will uh, tune, in, <laughs> tune in one day. One day. Um, and he'll be generous and yeah. throw some pocket change at it <laughs> just for fun. No, that's no. not going to be happening. That's okay. There's still lots of ways to play Atari games and, yeah. and, and, and play them well and get all the little add-ons to it too. None so. of that prevents any of this from happening. Yeah. 
No, it's true. It's um, true. So there's one more show before uh, we go away for, I think, three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be uh, next Wednesday. We're going to be playing Halo 2600. It's a pretty big one. And we're going to be going for a high score in Space Game, uh, which is the round three of the 2019 Homebrew Tournament. Oh, I mean for everything. Uh, melody boards, cart shells, Atari Vox. Yeah, it is. It's very expensive to get all that and put mm -hmm. invest that money so they're yeah. just sitting around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're back on uh, June nineteenth, and we'll be doing an Uno Kart special. Uh, be talking a lot about Uno Kart. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes a the battery. Battery's rolling across my desk. <laughs> um, we'll be talking a lot about Uno Kart versus Harmony Kart. Mm -hmm. Um, what the capabilities of this are, and showing you the first exclusive two homebrew games that only run on, on the Uno cart. Um, so that'll be very interesting. Uh, and then we're doing a, another round of uh, Spider Fighter to try and get my patch with you mm -hmm. um, on the 21st, because <laughs> I got very close um, to getting the patch last time. Mm. And then we'll be probably playing with the Quadtari hardware because the quad games will be at that point okay. finished um, by uh, Nathan uh, Tolbert, um, who uh, develops this. And we'll be playing his game, which has quad joust and quad uh, combat. So four people can play. Um, we'll really be playing it when it's the 12-hour marathon because we'll have two, four players. But we'll have four joysticks and we can try them all out and just demo this. And then after that on the 28th is the 12-hour Stella fundraiser and I'm putting all the pieces in place. Um, starting to collect uh, donations for that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> will they post the Uno game ROMs afterwards? I do not know that. Whether he wants to put out the ROMs or not. Or wait till he's done or I have no idea on that one so uh, we will see if he puts out the ROMs mm -hmm. afterwards <clears throat> yeah the donations are coming in for the 12-hour fundraising marathon and I'm trying to find places that work for um, bidding on items and also straight donations and I've got some okay things that work mm. but if anybody else has ideas out there that are just web pages that are easily uh, used for people to um, bid on items and also do donations but for private funds because there's lots of um, funding websites but they already have built-in charities it's like oh you can pick from one of these charities but you can't make your own charity hmm. um, and then there was one i found that was us only like you have to register as a oh, charity, a nonprofit. You had to put your charity number in. I'm like, well, that doesn't work. This isn't a charity. This is a fundraiser. Yeah. Um, then there's like, um, there's a whole slew of ones like GoFundMe, which does work. Yeah. That will work fine. It just won't integrate with with the show very doesn't, well. It, I can make it integrate okay. Like I'll take a slice of the mm. website and I have to refresh it every once in a while. That's fine. It will work. And that's like our... That's probably a good way of doing it. That's our it, base right? level of yeah. how we're going to work. And there's like three or four to choose from. Yeah. Like the GoFundMe style. Yeah. And in terms of the auctioning, there's eBay, which is not really what I want because I yeah. don't want this public. Mm. I wanted more of private links and you can't hide eBay auctions because no that's true so everybody in the world will be able to bid on it which you know maybe that's not the worst thing in the world it it's will drive true. up the prices yeah but yahoos will be able to bid on it like just random people, people that yeah. maybe Yahoos. won't pay <laughs> they maybe won't pay they have really low um reputations and ratings yeah and, and there's a lot of bad bidding out there i'd rather keep it within the atari age community so if anybody knows of an auction site that has more control i guess you have more, more control. control it's more of a private auction site um and that works on percentages because a lot of the private auction sites have like you have to pay a hundred dollars to sign up okay and it's and it's more like like a an auction auction like an auction house auction yeah. where they know they're gonna make tons of money yeah yeah it's yeah. it's more established this is not an established once yeah. a week auction thing it's mm -hmm. more for more for like fun 
Yeah. That kind of thing. So, so those are my two options now. So I'm looking for better. Yeah. Options. GoFundMe's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally fine. I, I don't mind that. Better than eBay. That works better for a personal auction. I doubt there is anything in between those two. There's nothing like, embedded in, say, GoFundMe or Kickstarter or one of those that allows allows some kind of auction system. That's I that's I doubt possible. it, but it's possible. It's possible that there is a, a functionality that because for f raising funds, maybe you want to try and sell something. Yeah. Um, rather than just straight money. Yeah. And it's like this item you bid on. You can you can look into that. There yeah. may be something like so that. So that that might be something. So if anybody has ideas for that, yeah, um, be good all to the know. better. So we are functional in that regards, but we want a I want better integration mm -hmm. that we can put things on Twitch and and make it easier for you guys out there to donate and also to bid on items too. Um, and uh, that is it for now. We will see you back on Wednesday. Yes um with erlen and um yeah so thanks for tuning in yeah and watching us play galaga for yeah. two and a half out yeah. three hours three hours almost now <laughs> uh, yeah and have a great afternoon if you're and on this side of the country or a great evening uh if you're you know on the on the other side of the world and so. a great extra holiday day if you're in canada yes yay as well yay <laughs> uh, we have the day off tomorrow as well yeah very okay nice. So we'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks, Dan. Uh, thanks for saying good show. Yeah. <laughs> it's lots of fun. And Arena Foot, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. RC7E. I can do it on here. Zazkag, Thrust26, Sir, what were we? Sir Catlegs? Sir Catlegs. Uh, RC70, yeah. Arena yeah. Foot, uh, Thunkist, Kev73. Uh, Mallard season. It's even easier. Kev seventy three. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan Strum joined us, uh, and I think that's the most. Oh, and Kev puts his arms up. Excellent show, Sir Catlights, <laughs> and thank you once again for uh, making the music and sound for Galaga. Amazing, yeah. amazing job. Yeah, and yeah. for Nathan Strum, Looks who did great. the unbelievable graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you are watching this later on, um. I did read something about the arcade where there is a one pixel spot in between the two ships that you can avoid being shot. Really? And, and I know there's enough mo enough uh, pixels that you could put that there. So I don't know if you've thought about that or not. Just to make it more accurate to the arcade, or maybe it looks weird. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yes. <laughs> and Mallard Season says Scorpion Illuminati equals Mallard Season. Well, you, do you didn't. Did we say Matt, uh, Scorpion Illuminati? Anyway. Oh. He's got two names, which is frowned upon, but... Uh, it's all. It it's works. Fine. It works. Awesome show, Mallard Season says. Thank you very much. So, have a good night. Have yes. a good weekend. Yeah. And we'll see you next on Wednesday. Yes, see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.